Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. We see quadratic equations in the form a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals zero. Factoring involves taking this equation and rewriting it by multiplying its two factors together. Here is how to get its factors. First, we want to find u and v such that u times v equals a times c and u plus v equals b. Doing this will involve some trial and error runs. Next, we can rewrite the equation as a times x squared plus ux plus v times x plus c. Next, we will factor out any values if possible. This will allow us to get its two factors. Finally, we will solve for x by setting each of the factors equal to zero. We solve for x using the procedures from solving one-step and multi-step equations, and we will get the values for x. Let's see some examples. First example, we have x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals zero. First, we want to find u and v such that uv equals negative 24 and u plus v equals negative 2. We find the factors of negative 24 that satisfy the sum of the factors equaling negative 2. u equals negative 6 and v equals 4. Next, we rewrite x squared minus 2x minus 24 using this equation by plugging in the values. Next, we factor out any values that we can. We factor out an x from x squared minus 6x, and we factor out a 4 from 4x minus 24. Now we see that we can factor out x minus 6 from this sum and get x plus 4 times x minus 6. Now we can rewrite the equation by plugging this in. We set each factor equal to 0. We solve for x and get x equals negative 4 and x equals 6 as our answer. Next example, we have x squared minus 16 equals 0. Instead of following the method for factoring quadratics, we can use a little trick. We are going to use this identity. This will make factoring a lot quicker and easier. Using this identity, we get x plus the square root of 16 times x minus the square root of 16 equals 0. We can simplify this and get x plus 4 times x minus 4 equals 0. Now we will solve for x by splitting the equation into 2. We have x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. We solve for x and get x equals negative 4 and x equals 4 as our answer. Last example. We have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. We want to find u and v such that uv equals 2 and u plus v equals 3. We find that u equals 1 and v equals 2. Now we rewrite 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 by plugging in these new values. Next, we factor out an x from 2x squared plus x and a 1 from 2x plus 1. Now we can pull out a 2x plus 1 from the sum. This gives us x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Now we can rewrite the equation using this. Now we want to find x, so we set each factor equal to 0. We solve for x and get x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 1 half as our answer. Factoring quadratic equations can be tricky at first. With a lot of practice, you will become a lot better and faster at this. For more help, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.